What's up guys? Give me a second. I'm eating Cocoa Puffs and it's like, what time is it? I just ate dinner, but it's like 8.30, but Cocoa, like cereal, if you guys eat cereal after, like in the afternoon, I don't know why, but it tastes so much better. So today, what we're going to talk about, something that I have been getting a ton of, well, I've been getting an insane amount of questions about a lot of things, but a ton of people are asking me, like, um, because I'm getting a lot of people, stupid expo, I'm getting a lot of people asking me, Sebastian, Seb, can we hop on a call? Um, I need your help, and, like, I'm very grateful for that. Um, some people are asking me, Sebastian, can you take a look at my store um, and tell me how it is? And, like, I'm to the point where I, I'm getting in too many messages to where I can't really do that anymore. I mean, a few months, like a month ago when I was kind of not really doing much with drop shipping. Um, I could have, but I now that I'm like I'm either DMing influencers, creating YouTube videos, um, on calls with like people who are already killing it with drop shipping so I can obtain more knowledge. Um, or living, like going out, um I mean going to family events, driving, going to get lunch and just chilling, playing Xbox maybe. But it's like <laughs> my time is very like packed so I mean I've had people offer to pay me and I've hopped on calls for, that people pay me for um, and that's all fine and dandy but just understand guys when, when I started drop shipping I didn't have anyone to I didn't have anyone who could come and look at my store I basically just was building them from the ground up um, and gauged, gauged how I thought they were on my own um, I did not have anyone looking over my shoulders and telling me everything I should do. I was basically just like, okay, this seems like it could work. This seems like it could potentially work. We'll test this out. I don't really know if this is going to work, but I mean, might as well do it. Like, why not? Who cares? And that was like basically the process for building my dropshipping stores. And that's how it's always been. I mean, I just, I just kind of wasn't really one to ask a million questions because I knew, well, just because I know me myself, like or I know myself and I know that I don't personally like being asked a ton of basic questions like stuff that you guys can google like how to link your a credit card with the freaking PayPal account like seriously you're gonna ask me that I'm clearing $300 a day with Shopify and you're gonna ask me that question like ask me something that's gonna benefit you like that doesn't benefit you at all um, but it's whatever but today what I want to talk about that was kind of a little rant um I want to talk about how to um, kind of know when you're going in the right direction with when you're promoting your products um, when you're starting to work with influencers and when you're starting to drive traffic to your store so what I gauge how I gauge um, if I'm doing something right or wrong well off the bat sales is obviously a pretty good key factor but abandoned carts is actually pretty well as a pretty a pretty good indicator as well but when you're driving traffic to your store I use the one-to-one -one rule, one-to-one -one ratio. Um, if you guys are getting 100 views on your page, you guys should be getting around $100 in revenue to your, um, with, uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. You guys should, if you guys get 100 views on your site, you should also have $100 in revenue because that's just like mathematically, that's like the average, that's what, that's kind of a rule of thumb that us dropshippers use one-to-one. Um, so if you guys have like, like right now I have like 2000 something in total, um, views for like the week and a half that I've been doing drop shipping and it converts well, it converts basically the same to my sales, my rep, my revenue. Um, it's about 2000 something. So it's, it does convert well and that's how you guys can basically gauge, um, how good your guys, you guys are currently doing. Um, and if, if it's down, if you guys are like, High view, high pay view, uh, the, 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 high page views, and no sales. Obviously, that either that either means that you guys have your products priced way too high. You guys have a website that looks like crap. I'm just gonna be blunt here. Um, or you guys like have no trust development in integrated into your site. So what I mean by that, Sales Pop is a good app. Well, if you guys don't have sales, you guys can't really. Um, leverage that but another thing would be like a trust badge on your guys's description you can basically just copy and paste the payment trust badge onto your description and it will create a little bit of tr a little more trust um with potential buyers they may feel more 
they may like want to buy a product from your store or be, they, they'll be more willing to buy something if they see that trust badge or just a ton of stuff that's like it's all about like being psychological and trying to in, in a sense what I try to do is reverse engineer how I would buy a product and what I would buy a product what type of store I would buy a product from and then basically just reverse engineer it to basically recreate something that I would buy something from and in hopes that other people are similar to me with taste and would also buy products from that store. So that's kind of my mindset with that whole thing. Um, another thing, if you're doing influencer marketing, which I hope you guys are in the beginning, um, because it's tough, Facebook ads are very tough in the beginning, but let me move that actually. Um, one thing I do want you guys to understand, revenue shouldn't like take days to come in. If you guys are doing a 24 hour post, it shouldn't take 24 hours to get one sale. When I did my first post for this new um, store that I'm running, which is now like hitting big boy numbers. Um, um, I like right once I did the first promotion of that store ever in its whole entire life. The first three minutes, I believe three or four minutes, I generated a sale from the promotion, and this happened an insane amount. Like I did, I had I had like five or six sales in the first hour, and I cleared over five hundred dollars in the first like twelve or fifteen hours or something like that. And it was insane, like seeing those numbers rack up in my bank account. Whoa, the lights just flickered. That was weird. Um, but seeing my bank account go up, like, or the pending balance as well as the PayPal, or pending balance in Shopify as well, or, or I mean payouts, or as well as PayPal, like seeing the PayPal grow. It was weird, like seeing that. I wasn't used to that, and I'm still kind of not. It still just looks like numbers to me now. But um, what I, what was I saying? Yeah, what I'm trying to say is. You guys probably like you guys do not need to wait for sales. They should be coming in if you guys are doing promotions, if you guys are finding the right pages and actually like actually well, that was weird. I whistled. Um and actually like going through the likes, going through the comments and making sure they're legit. That's one thing that so many people are failing with. Like everyone wants to wants to do Shopify drop shipping, but when they go through the pages, they're not even actually um verifying that these that the likes comment all like the like the likes and the comments are all legit and not artificial and it sucks because everyone's getting looped in so one thing I can recommend don't oh, my nose is itchy don't search through hashtags because people are trying to rank for hashtags to actually get you guys to pay them um, but the pay the but most of the times the traffic or not traffic um the engagement is not even legit so that's like they're just trying to rank for hashtags in hopes that people like you will pay them um i just had a call with uh connor if you're watching this yeah he was telling me like that's how he was searching and although you can find some good pages most of the times it's going to be stuff like that where people are just ranking high for hashtags in hopes to get people to pay them um for posts and then they see that they get like five page views on their site and get no sales um that's obviously not going to bring you any sales but it just kind of sucks i mean you guys do have to do some research it's not like you just find a page with a million followers and pay them 50 bucks for a post that's not really how this works it does take research and time but that was basically it um i have some I have, i'm working on a huge 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 project right now um, i hope it will benefit you guys immensely stay tuned for it it will be hype AF and it will benefit you guys. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, and subscribe because I'm eating Cocoa Puffs at 9 p.m. So why would you not subscribe to someone who eats Cocoa Puffs at 9 p.m.? All right, see you guys.